Welcome back guys. So today we will be continuing graph coloring. So today we will be seeing some problems on graph coloring. So the first is, so we need to find whether this expression or polynomial is a chromatic polynomial of any graph. So we need to check it is a chromatic polynomial of any graph. So we know that chi of g must be greater than 1. So f of g comma x that is equals to 0. We know that for at x equals to 0, but when we put a value of x as 0, so we get 0 q plus 5 times 0 minus 3 times 0 plus 5. So we get 5. So f of g comma 0 we get as 5. So since it is not equals to 0, so not it cannot be any chromatic number, it cannot be any chromatic polynomial of any graph. So this expression of polynomial is not valid. So next example, so again we need to find, check whether it is chromatic polynomial of, of non-null graph. So this was for any graph, so this was non-null graph. So since graph is null, since graph is non-null, so therefore we have chi of g must be greater than or equal to 2. I have explained this in the, my previous properties. So therefore chromatic polynomial f of g comma x equals to 0 at x equals to 1. So this must be 0 at x equals to 1. But when we put value of x1 as 1, so 1 plus 2 times 1 minus 4 times 1, so this is minus 1. So f of g comma 1 for non-null graph we obtain as minus 1 so that is not equals to 0 so it cannot be like the chromatic polynomial of any graph so the last example so I'm writing like if graph G has at least one edge so it is a pendant edge so then we need to put a sum of coefficients of its chromatic polynomial of its chromatic polynomial is 0 so I need to prove it so for that so let us start so let like the graph has n vertices so one is so for chromatic polynomial for non-null graph will be given as f of g comma x that is equals to a naught x to the power n plus a1 x to the power n minus 1 and so on up to a n minus 1 x plus a n so this will be the last two terms so since graph has at least one edge so we have we can apply this condition so if f of x comma 0 g of x comma 0 has to be 0 at x equals to 1 so this all the coefficients will be like 0 so putting this value so a0 a1 plus up to a n that is equal to 0 so this is the proof so this is all about it so thanks for watching it